Tenton Data's platform uses a columnar storage model, which we'll explore. But first, let's look at record-oriented storage. Many relational databases are record-oriented, so data is written in sequence. Here we have a table with three columns, first name, last name, and birth year. We can store this as first, last, birth year for the first record, first, last, birth year for the second record, and so on. In the middle record, we see the three values for Isaac Newton stored in sequence. We have Isaac, immediately followed by Newton, then 1642. This has advantages in processing transactions, but has disadvantages when running analytical queries on big data. For example, consider how slow it can be to run full table scans on big data with a record-oriented platform. To compensate, record-oriented systems use expensive indexing to improve performance. With the columnar storage model, you can both store and analyze big data sets. Unlike the sequential model, here we're storing column values together. All first names are in one file, last names in another, and birth years in a third. We have first names stored together in red, last names in orange, and birth years in yellow. This minimizes expensive input and output requests called I.O. to our data storage systems. Data storage is the slowest component of parallel processing. Even a solid state drive can't compete with today's memory and processor speeds. So how does columnar storage reduce expensive storage I.O.? Many queries use only a subset of columns in a table. With columnar storage, we read only the columns used in the query. If a table has 400 columns and we're only using 10, we'll only read those 10. Also, columns are stored sequentially and sequential access is much faster than random access. Our platform was built to use sequential access across any data element. Columnar data can also be compressed more efficiently with similar values stored together. This saves on capacity and values can be read faster.